Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another plug side chat. I recently finished reviewing the Kia Nero EV and I'll probably have posted my full review of it before this video goes up. But I wanted to talk a little bit about it in relation to the Bolt EV's charging rate and really what I think maybe some low hanging fruit is for GM in a way that they could increase or improve the Bolt EV's charging rate uh, while still staying within you know, the constraints of their more conservative charging model. Now, part of that is that the battery cells that are used in the Bolt EV are very similar to the battery cells that are used in the Kia Nero EV. Uh, the big difference is the Kia's battery is just way bigger. The Nero EV's battery looks like it could be as much as actually 70 kilowatt hours. Usable wise, it's more, it appears, than even the 64 kilowatt hours uh, that it's rated at. So when you look at the charging rates, a lot of it is dictated by the battery size. So uh, when you have a battery in the Bolt EV that's a 60 kilowatt hour battery, if it's limited to a 1C charging rate, which is what the cells are rated at, that means you're not going to charge faster than 60 kilowatts. So a larger battery, even under those same constraints, like what's in the Nero EV, could charge at 65 or 70 kilowatts. And in the case of the Nero EV and also the Kona Electric, which I had uh, done a parallel drive with, uh, with David a while ago, well, those peak at about 75 kilowatts. So uh, that would still be higher than a 1C rate, uh, but it's not substantially higher, maybe a 1.05 or a 1.1, uh, depending on what the actual size of the battery is. But in the case of the Bolt EV, as a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, if you stayed within the rating for the cells, it would have a max charging rate of 60 kilowatts, which isn't great, but it's still faster than a majority of the public chargers that are currently available. It's slower significantly than the newer chargers, the Electrify America, the Recargo, the newer uh, ChargePoint, and the newer uh, EVgo chargers that are going online, but it's still reasonably fast. And so, GM had downgraded that by about 10%. So the peak charging rate on the Bolt EV, the peak charging rate on the Bolt EV is only accepting about 150 amps, which is less than that 1C rating, and it ends up peaking at about 55 to 56 kilowatts. So one thing that GM could do, which I don't know how comfortable they are with this, because again, they use a more conservative charging model, they could bump that amperage up to about 175 amps, basically enough to hit that 60 kilowatts. So it might actually only be about 170 amps. That would all be within the constraints of the battery cells, uh, according to the manufacturer specifications. But the other thing is how the taper occurs. Now, when you look at the Nero EV, the taper, it's about a 25% taper at that very similar 55% uh, step down that the Bolt EV also shares. So in the case of the Nero EV, it goes from 200 amps or 75 kilowatts to 150 amps. So at that step down, it's actually charging just slightly faster than the Bolt EV's peak charging rate of about 55 kilowatts. But it maintains that up to about 75%. Now, the thing that's funny about the Nero EV's charging rate is it goes from 150 amps to about 100 amps at 75%, but you can tell that they pushed that step down out because at about 78%, it actually drops from 100 amps down to about 64 amps. So really what they've done is they've stretched it out as much as they possibly can. But if GM, they wouldn't have to mimic that exactly, but what they could do is the similar 25% step down after 50 to 55% where it would still be accepting 125 amps. Now, the reason that's important is, you know, it's still going to be slower 
than something like the Kona or the uh, Nero just because of the smaller battery. But relative to the public charging infrastructure, what it means is you really don't lose anything on those 50 kilowatt chargers up till about that 65 to 68 percent step down on the Bolt EV. And that way it's sort of a win-win. GM gets to maintain a fairly conservative charging model still to maximize battery life uh, and to reduce wear and things of that nature. But the end user benefits by having more usable charging sessions on those 50 kilowatt chargers and a slight improvement on the faster than 50 kilowatt chargers, though it's not really that significant at that point. Uh, even on the Kona Electric and the Nero EV, on a, the 150 kilowatt or 350 kilowatt Electrify America chargers, you still probably only want to charge up to about 55% before moving on. So actually the Bolt EV's experience on the Electrify America chargers wouldn't be that different than the Kona or the Nero. Maybe five minutes longer on those Electrify America chargers and getting about 20 miles less range out of it. But otherwise, it would actually be a very similar experience between a Bolt EV driver and a Kona electric or a Nero EV driver. Again, just incrementally slower. But again, that's something where I think GM could make a very minor tweak and it's something that could be rolled out as an over-the-air update or, you know, possibly take it into the dealer uh, as a voluntary update if you need to actually hardwire to update something like the battery management system. But it seems like a really easy win-win. It would do, I think, a lot for GM just in terms of publicity. And it would also help out a lot of the early Bolt EV owners who, you know, could use an extra five or ten minutes save per charging session, probably only about five minutes on the 50 kilowatt chargers, but you know, it would be a notable improvement and it would mean that comfortable stretches between DC fast chargers would increase from charging up to, you know, 60% to charging up to 70 or even possibly 75% because that last five to 10 minutes, it's really slop time. You're coming back from a restaurant or you're coming back from a a walk or a break or a shopping or whatever you were doing. So, uh, but it, it increases that distance that you can comfortably travel between DC fast chargers on a 30 to 40 minute break, which is, you know, pretty standard for a long road trip. So I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, do you think that's something that GM should try to do to push the Bolt EV's battery a little bit harder while still uh, staying within the manufacturer uh, specifications? Is it something that you think you would leverage on your trips? Do you think it would help you uh, maximize your use of uh, the 50 kilowatt public charging infrastructure as well as the uh, faster 150 to 350 kilowatt chargers that are coming online? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching.